Hey everyone. Uh, Alright, last time we uh, left off with charts and we've done some basic information with our charts and we put it onto our canvas. Uh, but this chart, while it certainly cha it shows the different colors for each class, it doesn't really help in terms of being able to see the numbers accordingly. So if I right click on my chart, I can actually add the data labels. And there it goes, it's very straightforward. I've added the data labels. And again, I can make some changes over here if I chose. Uh, if I wanted to, say, change the color or the border style or the font itself, or I can right click on it and change the series label property. So you see here the font Seg UI is selected, but I could change this to Comic Sans, and then I can make the numbers really big just to emphasize uh, the Comic Sansiness, and then I can run my report. And there you go. Now, this isn't necessarily the most attractive chart with the labels, so I can always go back. And let's say I wanted to actually change the chart type itself and change the pie chart. So if I right click on the actual element here uh, that's containing the chart, you'll see here that I've got some different options. Um, I want to actually change the chart type. So as opposed to just a generic pie chart, I'm going to have an exploding pie chart. So I click OK, then I run and see what that looks like. Okay, so again, not the prettiest looking chart because while this is a little bit better, I still have the sizes that my font's too big, so I can right click on the series labels. I'll change this back down to 10, and I'll change it back to Seg UI. But I'll bold it. Okay. And I'll run it. Now, you see how I often jump back and forth between the preview and the design pane. That's by design. Um, it may not be as elegant as it is with uh, Power BI Desktop, but it does give you the ability to go and lay things out and then run and see what that looks like. It'd be difficult to do this, say, with live data, because imagine, for example, you repeated the stuff on each page. It'd be challenging to say, okay, well, what exactly do you see in that preview? So that's why you have this kind of design preview experience right now. So flipping back here, you'll see that my chart, it's better. Uh, but I'd literally like to have another one of them. Well, no problem. I can actually right click and you have the ability to simply copy the chart accordingly. And I'll right click on my canvas and hit paste. So I have the exact same chart again here. Whoops. Ooh, it seems like I accidentally put it into <laughs> another uh, part of the report. Ah. So, you see what I did there? What was happening is it actually was nesting the chart inside that table there. Now, normally I'd go and delete that out of the video, but I wanted to show you that, you know, even I, as the uh, person who's in charge of this product, sometimes struggles to get the stuff quite right on the canvas. So here, I have the exact same chart. You notice I move this over here, and then I can change the border again and rerun it, and I'll get the exact same information. Now, of course, I could go and change the data in the second chart, but I wanted to show you how simple it was to kind of copy and paste the elements uh, between the two. And sure enough, I've got the exact same chart. Now, the thing to keep in mind, if I go back to that print layout that I showed you previously, this is going to run off the page now. So you see, one of two, and it's going to be really poor because it actually sticks this onto a second page because it can't fit in that page area that we defined in an earlier step. So that's a uh, more advanced look at charts. I mean, again, very basic stuff here. The ability to kind of copy and paste. If I don't want that element on here, I can get rid of it and then drag this back over accordingly. Okay, and then if I rerun it. There I go. And again, back one on one. So that's a quick look at charts. On our next video, we'll change some additional items uh, in terms of the title and the footer. Thanks very much.